Just sit here. I've got to talk to you. I can't wait. No way. Excuse us, Chad, but this is girl stuff. Come on. What, you mean on the cheek, right? He's done that Try before. like the way Pacey kissed Joey on last week's Dawson's Creek rerun. No, no, in your dreams. <sighs> For real. I was showing Ethan this horse-drawn carriage to leave the church in on his wedding day. I was describing what it could be like, and I asked him to close his eyes and imagine kissing his bride. Well, then that explains it. He thought he was kissing Gwen, not you. No, that's the thing, Whitney. I mean, he did at first, but then he realized he was kissing me. He even admitted it. He knew it was me he was kissing. You know, I hate to burst your bubble, Teresa, but I know why Ethan kissed you. And it's not because he's in love with you. Look, if Ethan thinks that he loves you, it's only because Chad put the idea in his head. I don't believe you. It's true. Chad told me that he talked to Ethan about you earlier, and he even suggested that he might be in love with you. So what, Whit? You don't fall in love with someone because of a suggestion. You fall in love because you don't have a choice. You can't help yourself. It just takes over your life. Yeah, well, I'll pass on that kind of love. Thank you. If you do, you'll be missing out on the most exciting feeling in the entire world. We're not even talking about me, Teresa. Oh, no? Hmm. Well, at least Chad is in my corner, which is more than I can say for you. Look, Teresa, you are nuts if you think Chad is helping either one of you, okay? He's just making things worse by stirring everyone up. Well, it's better than living a lie. All I know is that Ethan kissed me and he meant it. Look, Teresa, I'm not saying that he didn't like it, okay? I mean, why wouldn't he enjoy kissing a pretty girl? But that doesn't mean that he's in love with you. I know what I know, Whitney. Teresa. Think it through, okay? Being in love with you would destroy Ethan's whole life. Is that what you want for him? Of course not. Do, uh, do yourself and him a favor and accept that he's going to marry Gwen. Never. I think you are freaked out by the idea that Ethan could really love me because you're afraid of your own feelings for Chad. I am not, okay? And I am so sick and tired of everyone saying that I am. Besides, there, uh, there are no similarities between you and Ethan and me and Chad. When, when it comes to relationships, you really don't know anything. There's only one difference here. I am willing to admit that, that I can't live without Ethan, and you refuse to admit that you even want Chad.